Hello, I'm Jakob Zitecki and uh, I just wanted to tell you about a few things I like to do while writing the music and uh, I hope you're gonna find it useful and hope you're gonna enjoy it. Uh, so yeah, what I really like about uh, making music is having this uh, this happy random accidents that are happening uh, where I'm just tweaking a, a certain sound and, or I'm just starting the, the drum loop from, from the point it wasn't supposed to be played and, and all of a sudden I've got the something I wasn't able to think before and I think these elements are really important and they kind of make your music uh, a bit more spontaneous and alive. Uh, so yeah, I try to apply that, that idea to the guitar and that, that's, that's something I started doing recently, just super fresh for me, like I was practicing this leg for, for the last two days and it's such a brain stretch. Uh, but yeah, but that's a cool thing about it, like uh, if it's it's pretty much about like having one simple riff and then putting it within a frame of a pattern that will make the riff more irregular uh, in a longer run. It's pretty much something that Mashuka did for years. It's like my little way of, of, of doing this. Uh, and yeah, and while you're doing this, there is a chance that you might play something cool out of the sudden. So let me show you how, how it works. The The main riff sounds like this. And uh, the pattern that I told you about is something like this. I take first four notes of this riff, I play them as the eighth notes, and I take next six notes of this riff and play them as the triplets. And that, that makes ten notes. And uh, the riff is made for, from fourteen notes, so I am left with the last four notes of the riff. Uh, with which I start the pattern again, so this will just create like irregular uh, changes of of this riff in in the longer run, and it's gonna sound pretty interesting. So just once again to remind you that the idea is that is something like like that, right? So in the longer run, it will sound uh, like this, and here we go. Yeah, so that's the idea. Probably gonna sound more interesting at the faster tempo, so let me just uh, try to play it for you in the faster tempo. So yeah, that was the, the whole pattern altogether. As you could hear, the, the changes were making it pretty irregular. Uh, so yeah, that, that, that's the idea behind it. And it really forces you to learn new shapes and uh, uh, there's a chance that rhythmically it might just be more interesting than just the one riff itself. So yeah, um, yeah, I hope it was, it was helpful and uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.